Welcome to Charkand Ultimate version 3. This product's been in development for four years and we've taken into account the requirements of clients such as NASA and the US Department of Defense in the design of this tool. Uh, it's used by large and, uh, and very small organizations alike. This product incorporates some status reporting, so you see these ticks here and um, some traffic lights. Also have a series of bespoke reports uh, due in the next seven days over due and behind schedule and we'll have a look at how they work uh, as we get into the planning. Um, one feature of this tool is that it highlights the current date um, so that we are able to see where we are within, within time and we're able to move that time window on. So if I move out to the 1st of the 1st, 2020, we're now in January 2020 and we're able to see what tasks are planned out that far. So if you ever need to just move, um, move that time window along, simply change that. Uh, we can view weekends, we can turn weekends off, um, and that looks like that. We can plan in weekdays or in days, and you'll see that has an immediate impact on the schedule. Um, weekdays, there are five days in a week, days, there are seven days in a week. We can view uh, by day, which we're doing at the moment. Uh, we can uh, flip up to a weekly view, and we can flip up even higher to a monthly view, which gives us a nice high level overview and gives us about 10, 10 years in the planning window. So just explaining the screen layout in each column. The first column is a typically structured uh, WBS um, breakdown. So 1.1.5, for example. Now we're able to change that instantly and change our levels. So this is a, a structured three level work breakdown structure. Um, we can change a particular task um, instantly by just changing the level at which we're operating. Uh, so for example, if I change this one up to a level two, and these, instead of level one, level two, these would be your task descriptions, that task instantly becomes a summary task that summarizes and inherits the properties of the task underneath it. So just to have a look at that, if we expand this out by another day, we'll see our summary task has moved down in alignment with that. The next column is a tick for tasks that are ending, ending in the next seven days. Uh, they're just tasks that we need to be aware of and, and keep an eye on. And we have uh, two status indicators here, a red light indicating a task that's overdue and an amber indicating a task that's running behind schedule. And we'll have a chat about how, that, uh, how that's calculated shortly. We have our three level work breakdown structure. So there's just a column for level one, column for level two, column for level three. Uh, so that just makes it very straightforward to change levels and, and uh, what have you. If we need to insert um, rows, again, uh, we've coded around a number of issues with that. Um, just click on insert, drag that whole row down from above, and then change the title of that task um, as, as you might uh, for that particular. And you can change the planning time, so 1, 1. 14 and um, what have you. So that's that becomes instantly a live task. Uh, we have a space for the resources that are responsible um, and we can do a look up on those. So I can just say, show me the tasks that uh, Marcus is responsible for and that will instantly um, just show those tasks. So let's have a look at all tasks. We can also collapse up and down our work breakdown structure. So if I want to collapse up to level one, uh, that's our level one. Um, we can collapse up our level twos, and I just use group and outline function in Excel uh, to do that. So it makes it easy, much easier to navigate a very large plan. Uh, next we have dependencies, so we can see the impact of that. I'll turn off this dependency. So that's a finish start dependency. Um, I'll just turn that back on again so we can see the impact of that. Um, that dependencies um, related to a particular work breakdown structure number. So we just set it equal to a number um, such as that, and then you're away. We have a start date for the task, a uh, number of weekdays, and an end date for that task. Uh, we have a percentage complete. So if it's 100% complete, uh, we'll see the red lights gone from that. That task's now been completed, and it's green, so we can see uh, within the framework of that. Okay, so um, having a look at some of the reporting features now. So if we go to task due within the next seven days, to update that report, all we do is click refresh data, and bang, we've got a, there's our DFD task I, I just created earlier. Um, this, this report is by name, so who's the resource, um, what's the task number, and what's the task description in relation to that. Overdue tasks, same again, let's refresh that. 
and we've only got one overdue task now within the plan. So if we go back, we can see there's only one, uh, one red task. And behind schedule, let's have a look at what we've got behind schedule, refresh that task. Uh, so we haven't allocated a name, but we've got uh, our, our task description and, and task identifier. So Charcan is, is the most powerful Excel-based uh, project planning tool. And now with the reporting function incorporated, it makes it much easier to manage large projects uh, and ensure delivery of those within a, a completed time frame. So we look forward to working with you and providing you the power you need to live, deliver your project on time and on budget. Thank you for your time.